right, we got a new battery here from the folks over at Humsync. Let's open this up and check it out. All right, we got a manual here. I'll take a look at that in a minute. A bag of bolts. And uh, it's got two different sizes here, a short one and one that's a little bit longer. Those are perfect. If you need to put more lugs on, you use a longer one. Nice styrofoam here. Nice thick bag. Oh. All right, there we go. We got a Humsink 12 volt, 100 amp hour, 1280 watt hour with a 100 amp BMS. Lithium iron phosphate. And this is the group 24 size. We got technical support, email address, cautions, do not do this and that and the other thing and your certifications and the recycle and all that sort of stuff and we got a serial number and all that stuff on this side over here on a sticker all right let's go ahead and take a look at this manual here i'm going to quickly pause this video for a moment and ask you to subscribe to the youtube channel so go ahead and click that subscribe button and the like button as well while you're at it then ring that notification bell and get to get notifications i'd really appreciate it now let's get back to it all right so let's take a look at this manual here and see what we got one thing I will say about this manual, it is the most well-written in English manual, and I was really surprised coming from a, a company that I have never really heard of before, uh, and a really inexpensive battery, but their manual is extremely well-written. So here's our specifications. I need my glasses on. All right, so what we're looking at here is the 12 volt, 100 amp hour, and uh, standard charge is a uh, 20 amp max charge 100 amp that's good max continuous discharge current 100 amps so looking this over here we do see charging low temperature protection that is something that i really like to see uh, cuts off at 32 comes back on at 41. So it has all the, the typical protections, including the low temperature discharge protect, or charging protection. So the dimensions here, 10.24 by 6.61 by 8.23. And uh, da, 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 cycle life 6,000 at 80% depth of discharge. Self discharge is uh, less than 1% a month. That's good too. Uh, and you can run four parallel and four series. Uh, this is not the Bluetooth model. I guess they have a Bluetooth one. Performance discharge curves and that sort of thing. Cable sizing recommendations. How to hook it up in parallel and series. Uh, charging methods and troubleshooting and the typical stuff in a manual. I said, this, is, this really is an excellent manual. And I said, I was really surprised. All right, we're gonna go ahead and do a capacity test on this battery. And then you're gonna wanna stick around to the end of the video where we're gonna do a little real world usage. And we're gonna hook, take this outside on my patio of our RV here and uh, make us some nacho cheese for our movie night. And we'll go ahead and use this in real life with our little 600 watt cooker and make us some nacho cheese for our movie night. So be sure to stick around if you want to see that. As for now, let's go ahead and do this capacity test. All right, let's go ahead and get the capacity test started here. Got this all charged up and topped off. And I went ahead and set my uh, meter to 103 amp hours. And we're going to see if we can try to get over this 100 amp hours. And if we can't get to the whole 103, we'll do the math to figure out what exactly we did get. All right, for the load, I'm going to do my typical thing and connect this up to my big portable power station and charge it up about between 480 and 500 watts, which puts a pretty good draw on the battery uh, for the entire duration of the capacity test. Let's, so let's go ahead and get this started.
All right, so we passed our capacity test with flying colors. We got 104 amp, 0 0.9, almost 105 amp hours out of this 100 amp hour Humsink 12 volt lithium iron phosphate battery. So I'm pretty impressed with that. Now we're going to have another video coming up pretty soon where we're going to hook two of these together so that we can hook up a 2000 watt inverter and really run a load on these to put them to the test. Now these have a 100 amp BMS which uh, I wouldn't put much more than a 1200 watt uh, inverter on a single 12 volt battery. I want to run 2000 watts so that I can do some real usage uh, with a 2000 watt inverter and something like a uh, induction cooktop or something like that and in order to really do that safely you really need 200 amps of BMS so if we wire these together we could end up with a 200 amp BMS which we could safely then use with a 2000 watt inverter which is what I wanted to do all right, we're going to go ahead and take this outside now, get it hooked up to our 1,000 watt inverter, our little 600 watt Hittrick cooker, and uh, get our little outdoor movie night started. All right, we're getting ready to have movie night here outside on our patio, and we're going to hook our hum sink battery up here, and uh, our little Hittrick cooker, and we're going to make some nacho cheese for our movie night. We'll go ahead and get this turned on here. All right. So we've got two tablespoons of butter and two tablespoons of flour in here. And we're going to mix this together for our nacho cheese. We're making basically a roux. And with raw flour, you just always want to make sure that the flour gets well cooked for at least a minute or so. Get rid of that raw flour taste. All right, we got your basic uh, American cheese here. We're gonna throw three slices in there. Corner dark chili powder. All right, good enough. <laughs> All right. So, like I said, in a few weeks or so, we're going to do some more testing on this battery uh, as a pair and uh, put a lot more load on these so if you're interested in that be sure to subscribe to the channel uh, click that link down below uh, if you like this video please feel free to give it a like and if you want to see some of my other battery review videos i'll drop a uh, link for that right here and my most recent video i'll drop right here and that's the end of this video and i'll see you in the next one